नमस्ते नमस्ते मैडम गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू स्मॉल एंग चिल्ड्रन आई फील प्रिविलेज्ड एंड वेरी हैप्पी टू बी विथ यू ऑल आई लिसन टू योर टॉक्स एंड आंसर्स आई एम इलेटेड फीलिंग वेरी हैप्पी आई थिंक यू हैव बीन लर्निंग नाउ भगवत गीता चैप्टर 10 विभूति योग एंड i i know that dr sachin uncle has already taught you and you have learned three verses and you know so much about vibhuti yoga so far i'm very happy to once again just give you a small recap like the 10th chapter is one of the very very important of course all the 18 chapters are important but Ten chapter tells us all. It means vibhuti yoga, which tells us the glories of Lord Vishnu, Bhagwan Sri Krishna, the God. As you have already learned, this chapter, the Lord says, and the origin, the beginning of the whole universe, and. there is nothing beyond me you will know about this when you study chapter 7 where bhagwan quotes in a verse which is very popular famous and important too that verse says matta parataram na anyat matta parataram na anyat किंचिदस्ति धनंजया मयि सर्वमिदं प्रोतं सूत्रे मणि गणा इव लॉर्ड हियर सेस एवरीथिंग इज स्ट्रंग इन मी एज ए रो ऑफ बीड्स ए रो ऑफ ज्वेलरी इन अ थ्रेड द होल यूनिवर्स इज विद इन मी दे आर ऑल स्ट्रंग विद इन मी सो यू कैन इमेजिन How huge, how great this guy is! You can find him everywhere. Similarly, Sri Krishna, as the self-eternal supreme power, he is all-pervading. All-pervading means he is everywhere. As you see, the sky, the moon, the Lord, the sun. um the bhumi the earth everywhere you find him he is all pervading he is everywhere and he is the source of all the names and forms how do we recognize the universe there must be something for us to say what is this what is that when we start talking about we talk about different forms different names he is in all of them pervading in all of them you have already seen and known that this vibhuti yoga chapter 10 describes the power of lordship pervasiveness that is all pervading he is everywhere and the lord is operating within all of us that is the self so now lord krishna as a teacher feels encouraged by arjuna's happiness arjuna is now different we have seen him in chapter 1 he was confused he was scared he didn't know what to do he didn't have confidence to fight the war in the kurukshetra against kauravas very 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 bad people he didn't know what to do but now as he is being advised and told step by step step by step by lord krishna to take courage take strength have confidence believe in himself believe in the lord he is now a different arjuna he is getting more and more interested in knowing about the lord his vibhutis his power his strength his confidence and what not so arjuna 
after asking different questions, Krishna now knows Arjuna is now coming to the point. This is the time for me to tell him about my infinite nature, endless nature. And he tells him and he's delighted to tell him also about his powers, that is Vibhuti. So the Lord has now decided to continue his teachings and says, he is the Lord of all the worlds. Sarva Loka Maheshwaraha. Sarva Loka, the whole universe, different words. He is the Maheshwara. Thus, the third verse as the introductory part gets completed. So now, Lord is here, Ishwara Swarupam and Ishwara Vibhuti. Now, we shall see how is the self, that is the Lord, rules the world. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, in these two stanzas, that is, you have seen up to the third verse. In the fourth and the fifth verse, he gives the various qualities expressed by the mind and the intellect of the man. All the said qualities indicate a larger understanding of the term creation and clearly indicates that it means also our mental strength, our intellectual lives. The qualities here given by Lord Krishna are all positive qualities. How we should conduct ourselves, how we should face life. Gita teaches us not the verses and the meanings. He teaches from end, from end. If you study Gita as you are doing now, by the time you become grown up, youth, you will know how to face life. Life will not be the same all the time. It varies. We have all the opposites also. But here, he gives us all the positive qualities. He says, we should have good intellect. That is mental power, wisdom. Wisdom is Ability to make good judgment, delusion, false belief. One should not have false belief. Know the fact, know what the matter is. Think about it, then act accordingly. Right action, truth, always stick on to the truth. Never speak untruth or false things and never believe also that which is not the truth. Self-restraint, that is self-control. You should be able to, supposing you don't like something, somebody tells you to do it, you should not do it. Have control over your mind, okay? Whatever you feel right, whatever your teachers, your gurus, your elders, your parents guide you, stick on to that because they are always concerned about your welfare. They want you to be good children and grow up to be good citizens of the country and lead a positive good life. Calmness, be calm. Don't get excited. Good? Don't immediately shout and jump. Tell yourself, be calm, but enjoy. Take of good things, but don't get excited. Happiness, be cheerful and happy all the time. Then pain, and pleasures will be there. Sometimes you'll be unhappy. Pain is not only getting hurt or getting injured. It may be like you would have worked hard, but somebody else gets more marks. Don't get disheartened. There is always a next opportunity. There is always a next chance. Next time you work harder, definitely you will achieve good results. So never get disheartened. You may lose some of your dear ones, your great grandfather, your grandfather, as they get old and aged, or sometimes due to un un uh, unrepairable diseases like and can cannot be cured. So don't get disheartened. Tell yourself, okay, it's okay. Let me take their morals, advices, and again follow their good rules. Then fearlessness. 
be brave never be scared of anything never be scared always tell yourself god has given you good mind to think and good strength also so be brave non injury is not getting hurt but you should not hurt others also sometimes we see children harming stray dogs throwing a stone at it unnecessarily harming don't, don't do that then always equanimity keep at home mind contentment be satisfied don't crave to get all the things by yourself to your own self don't think i want everything i must have 10 pencils i must have i must have 12 pens no have contentment i have to know that is enough let me give the third pen to a person to a child to my neighbor who has no pen at all so learn to serve others then austerity that is simplicity don't crave for luxury things beneficence doing good always try to help others you have learnt about dana you know what charity is so then you also know that the best example for charity is a tree so tree is always so selfless it always helps others in giving fruits veg whatever i mean plants and trees fruits vegetables shade everything it gives but never thinks nobody is giving me anything it always helps others so be like a tree and fame have good reputation bad reputation to gain bad reputation is really a loss of life it's really very 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 bad so always try to have good reputation by doing good things you will definitely get good reputation bhagavan shrimad bhagavat pada shankaracharya i know you all have heard about shankaracharya the great saint of hindus he observes we can consider these two stanzas as a complete commentary and as the lord of the world sarvaloka maheshwara is proved in these two stanzas wherein the lord has all these qualities maharsha then coming to the next verse that is verse number 7 we can see here sorry it is verse number 6 we have not completed 6 i know maharshaya sapta purve chatvaro manavasthata mad bhava manasa jataha esham loka ima prajaha here we what lord says is maharshaya sapta purve seven maharshis greatest saints all of them were very 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 well read and scholars and godly saints then four sanatas then 14 manus all great people they were all born out of lord's mind so we can understand here these people had possessed full powers like lord krishna only and were born out of his mind from them these creations in the world were originated and sustained that is these seven seers four kumaras and 14 manus were all born out of the lord's own mind and they together constitute the material and the efficient causes of the world so the lord here says that all of them or the children of my mind and from them started this world the wise joyfully and with intense eagerness worship me knowing to be the source of all that everything evolves from me alone so entertaining the one idea that i am everything that is the lord lord is saying here entertaining the whoever entertains that one idea that i am everything diverting all their energies towards me that is towards the lord 
they sing my glory and they take delight in talking about me yes they revel in him they revel in lord krishna that means enjoying in me so the lord says i bless such wise men with buddhi yoga it and evening happy time with you i wish you all all the best always you are all our geeta children god bless you all and i take this opportunity once again to thank 